Hi guys, can you please put uh, plus that you can see the slides and plus that you can hear me? Okay, fantastic. So let's start. Uh, tonight we're going to cover the pharmacy services industry again. It's already second time. I don't know, Dory, you probably missed it. Uh, you haven't seen it before. So in this case, I will just probably overview it again. Now, before we start, uh, there is a disclaimer, of course. Uh, you have to understand that even though we discussing the company in details, you still have to make your own decision, all right? Because that's your money, you invest them, and uh, because we are going to cover several strategies which you can implement, but uh, when you decide to do it, invest or not invest, and what strategy to use, you have to make your own decision, okay? It's your responsibility. You have to understand it. All right. Okay. Plan for today. Uh, first of all, of course, we're going to look at current market situation as well as do and see where the market right now and what we can expect uh, from it within the next month or so. And uh, we'll see how it's going to help us. Now, then we're going to cover pharmacy services industry and specifically we're analyzing details, uh, CVS health and uh, uh, we're going to look at fundamental analysis and technical analysis. Now, then we look at several possible st trading strategies. And tonight I'm going to add one more uh, on the top of what we usually do. And uh, so then if you have any Q&A questions, so I will try to answer them. Okay, Dow Jones. Now, you remember the Dow Jones includes uh, 30 biggest by capitalization companies in it. And we can see that from 2009, it's uptrend. And uh, we can see there are two kind of major lines. There is a fast line. Most of the time it was moving in the fast line. And then in 2015, 16, it's kind of moved to slow line. And uh, uh, if you look at trend like that, so it was uh, parallel. So kind of within that period of time. So and now after Donald Trump become president, it's moved up. Uh, and uh, now it's again in the same uptrend which was before okay so based on that what we can expect in the longer term so first of all it might complete this trend and go to this line okay and i'm going to show it on a smaller scale now but it's uh, also possible that it's uh, moved lower okay so that's why if you see that market goes down, it doesn't mean that it is a crisis or something like that. It's a pullback and pullback is normal scene. We can see it every year. Uh, at least we have one pullback like that over the last several years. OK, now uh, that's what we can see in the last three months. So these are uh, three candles here. OK, so that's exactly what we see. Now, it is kind of sideways, but slightly downtrend. You can see that this high is higher than the next high, okay? And then this high is a bit lower as well, and this is lower as well. So this type of, so in this case, we can see that we have one roll, and now we uh, do finish kind of second roll. It didn't finish it quite, so and then it's moved up, okay? So that's that's what we can see. You can break probably even to two rolls this roll, kind of mini roll, uh, but that's what we can see. No, just a second, I'll just delete all of it. So right now what we can expect that it's it's going to touch this resistance level in here and then easily can pull back. And uh, that would be 21,800. Uh, 21, so and here it's about uh, 220 so 400 so we can expect that it might move nearly a thousand here so uh, make sure that uh, you're aware of that so when you enter in your positions uh, despite it is a good company and great company still when the market goes down it might pull your company down too okay so and it will give you opportunity to enter position at much lower levels now you have to understand that when the market goes down not every company goes down so some companies keep going up. So you, you have to kind of take it into consideration as well. 
Now, uh, here's all clear, right, about it. Now, uh, the next one index is uh, SAP 500. Now, it's uh, long trend is very similar to Dow Jones. The difference is here in the last three months, it's also sideways. And you, you see it's kind of pretty similar to uh, Dow Jones, but the only difference that they, it's kind of slightly uptrend. So we can see every time it gives, it makes it a bit higher and then higher and then again higher. Okay, so it's uptrend uh, compared with the Dow Jones English. Okay, but also we can easily see that it might reach 2,450 here and then it's easily can pull back to 2,350, something like that in this area. So 100, about 5% pull back uh, might happen quite easily. Okay, and uh, it's also gives you, if your company is in this index, so make sure that you buy when it is low, okay? And uh, that would be the good point of entry. This is this is the good point of entry. Now, uh, the third index, which we usually look at, uh, NASDAQ, it's a bit different. We can see it's also for the last three months was trying to do it sideways, but uh, it didn't hold this level. And it's actually this line, it was, uh, uh, resistance line or long, long trend. So it tested it once. So it's actually broke through. Okay. And then it came back and then it broke through and now it's higher. Okay. And you can see this, uh, this time it's actually, uh, moved up from that specific, uh, trend line. So whatever was before resistance now has become a support line. So if, if it's going to stay there, so what we can expect that it's first row. And it's might easy to go to the second row. But if it pulls back, it pulls back not only here, it's quite easily can pull back down here. Now, the question is, you probably know what kind of companies are included in uh, Dow Jones, right? So it's mostly a uh, technological sector. And uh, that might tell us that if the pullback happens, uh, we can see that uh, companies included in technological sector, they will go down more in price than companies included in Dow Jones index or S&P 500. Okay. And averagely, like if you look at the, the P ratio, a lot of IT stock, uh, they're quite pricey. They're quite high in P ratio. Okay. Now in one more index, which we're going to look at index of fear or volatility, uh, VIX, we can see that in general, it moves, uh, between about, uh, these levels. Okay, and uh, these levels. So, and at this particular case, the last couple of months, we can see that volatility increased. So it tells us that emotions on the market, people uh, kind of become more emotional uh, to the moves. And uh, when the, the, the VIX goes up, okay, every time it goes up, it means that indexes at this moment are going down. So, and that represents the fear on the market. Okay, so that's the uh, best point of entry. When everyone is fearful, we have to be greedy. And when everyone is greedy, it's here. When the market is high, we have to be fearful. Okay, and that's what we can see. R market for the last three days moving up and this volatility index going down. Okay, and before it was one big candle uh, move down on indexes, it's here you see this candle, uh, volatility index moved up. So that's represent us the pretty good entry point. They kind of looking, look, looking as a mirror. If you put mirror at the top, you will see that they reflect in each other in this particular case. Now, these are indexes. Just remember that when you enter in position, uh, it's good to take into consideration the general move of the market because it can give you the opportunity to buy a bit cheaper or exit position at a bit higher levels. Okay.